Bonjour, Red Kangaroos, and welcome to the seventh, seventh episode of Detroit Become Human. And it's all going good. We're on the Marcus level now. Well, a Marcus level now. Um, it's all going. It's all going fan dabby dozy. Um. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? No one knows, Carl. Parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. That's not on, true. Have I have a couple of friends that like art. Oh. This whole thing has made me thirsty. Guys, comment down below if you care about Scott, art. Neat as usual. Do you guys care about Absolutely. art? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Ooh, Carl's asking for people to kiss his ass. <laughs> he wants to be eaten out. <laughs> Did you leave Remember, Carl is Marcus's sugar daddy, guys. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Good. Let's go check it out. Yep. If you actually don't take him... He'll go, Marcus, I want to go with you. And then he'll follow you in. He'll wheel himself in. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, who do you think that could be? Was it the guy asking for money? Maybe. Leo! Yeah, it was. <laughs> what are you doing? My second favorite crackhead. Help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. All right, let's um, let's order. No, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave now. All you ever do is tell me to go. Look how nice Marcus's eyes are. Not good enough for you. No. Just nice eyes. Like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? How dare you do that to your own father? You got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. The whole point about deviating no, is disobeying you orders, yeah? Man, act like one. Stop it. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. When he said, um, like, um, too much of a pussy, imagine if, like, Marcus just whips out his cock and be like, no. <laughs> right. We're not going to endure this, because I know what happens if we do endure it. Yeah, get shrecked. Leo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... Doesn't seem that little. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Oh no. Um. Yeah. Go. I have nowhere to go, Carl. You're all I have. Get out now. Go, Marcus. Don't fucking move.
Last time I checked, police officers aren't meant to shoot under suspicion, right? Like, they mistook Marcus for the aggressor, but they're not meant to shoot because they... I guess it looked pretty convincing that... Yeah, but basically, if you, um... Like, obey Carl and endure the pain. Carl dies of a heart attack and the police arrive and then Leo accuses Marcus. So. So, now Carl is still alive. Big woo. Oh, wait. Damn it. I keep doing it. 